like the way the bike looks you know how people look at you come on we all know that we like it when people like our bike right clear view windshield how it flares up darker tint and a new windshield and i'll explain uh why a new windshield but let me just unpack it put it against my tall harley windshield which i'm really happy with some recycled material that they use from uh, leftovers i don't know what but it's recycled i'll tell you who this company is clear view windshields not going to take the uh covering off because i want to mount it and see that it's uh, the right Okay, I just placed it on, on top of the current windshield. An inch and a half shorter on the top. And it's about, you see, this is the, this is the other side. This is the lip, the edge of the Harley. This is the lip of the new one. So it's like an inch and a half wider as well. From this position, can you see the difference? And, and it's got a curve. That would throw the air higher up uh, pretty much the same height as this one will. So I get the same wind protection as the Harley Tall with a lower windshield. That makes sense? So I took the bike out so you get a little bit uh, better view of the recurve over here. You see the recurve of the clear view windshield, how it flares up and supposedly directs the wind a little bit higher and gives a downforce as well at high speeds. So you get better traction on the front wheels. And look from the front. This is pretty much, uh, it's about, I'd say an inch and a half shorter than the, the tall windshield. And I got it in a dark tint, the second mo uh, darkest you can get. There's the darkest, which is completely blacked out. And then there's this. The specs of this is the Lowrider ST, uh, whatever it's called, mid-gray recurve. Made in the USA, which is great, inspected. So all parts included. They want you to put this white bushing that goes, that is the, actually the, the width, the thickness of the windshield itself that goes right in the middle. And the outer has this, this black washer, which is plastic, touches uh, the screen itself. And on the bottom, this little uh, washer retains the whole structure together. And so you see how this assembly goes straight in? The white washer is the spacer, is pretty much a bushing that takes up the width of the, of the windshield itself. The big, large uh, washer holds the outside, the outside of the windshield. And the small washer over there holds this whole assembly in place and then just goes on the fairing. Well, the current windshield, the Harley windshield comes up uh, with a T27, also known as Torx 27. One, two, three, four. And five six take these two out last they hold they bear the weight of the windshield see this black seal when it's wet or where it's damp it shows it's so ugly right here you see that it's one of the reasons i'm replacing with a darker tint it just looks so bad with the gray, then a rubber seal, and then a clear, clear piece of pers perspex or plastic, whatever it is. That's what was showing through the windshield, which I don't get the design of, not this, this I understand is to prevent water seeping in, but the windshield itself on the bottom should have had maybe a black tint. So you don't see this, because once this water comes between this and the inside of the windshield, it looks very ugly. Nice and easy, work your way from the lower ones going up. I didn't tighten them all. 
Now the last one, once they're all in, I'll start tightening them down. No, no hard torque needed anyway, and there's no need for a Loctite whatsoever. If I get the same wind protection, and then I'll take, when I decide that I'm positive, I want to keep it. I'll take this off, this plastic, the next day. Nice weather, gonna ride the bike, see how the windshield works. And it started up a cold start. Warm day, so I'm wearing uh, my mesh. Gray mesh for gray goes. It's a uh, Beyond Riders mesh. My summer gear. I have, by the way, I have a 10 $10 discount down by the description where you can pick up this great Beyond Riders stuff. That's what I'm wearing right now. Let's wait till it warms up. I took my half helmet so I can feel the wind. Previously on the other windshield, on the tall windshield, my, I was starting to get hit by wind around over here. So I have a good comparison. switch over to this helmet just came back from a 750 mile road trip with the previous tall windshield with this helmet so it's logical for me to check it with this one
So I just got back. For now, it's a keeper. I'm gonna take this protective film off. I will ride it a little bit more. Up till now, it seems pretty good. Very good, actually. It serves the same, same wind protection as the, remember, I'm comparing it to the Harley Tall windshield. So, and it's the 10 inch. So it's uh, giving me the same wind protection, if not even better because uh, it's wider over here. But for now, this is staying. I'm going out to the post office, hopefully. It's open and I can get uh, the package out to Dr. Fred Peck. My longtime Patreon supporter, I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. He said he bought a beautiful hat from uh, Israel. A little ride with this windshield. <laughs> Uh, a few days ago, I got the additional heat shield over here, and I was trying to get this to be the same color as this forever. I was trying, it didn't work, it wasn't getting the right color, I tried with the torch, in and out, all, you name it, I baked it, then John came over, gave me a great suggestion, and it worked. I'm trying to do some fixing over here after the other side didn't, didn't work out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna teach him something. So he heated the outside. Come on, come on, come on, start working. He heated the outside, but the inside became the color that he wanted. So I just told him, I said, let's heat the inside and hopefully it'll get the color on the outside. This this is empty. I so many attempts. I know, but if it's uh we're hitting this because we wanted the back actually. The back to get to the color. The thing is I wasn't able to match it to the, the two others that I had over there. Time, obviously. First of all, this torch is caca. Don't tell me it's caca. I paid twenty-five dollars for it. No, it's no good. It's not hot enough. Oh, what a difference! No, nope. <laughs> no it's not hot enough. This, this torch. And it worked. So now I have three heat shields on my Suwiki. I'm talking to you because I want to wait for this to get to running temperature. Let's go to the post office. It's a hot day. I think it's a. Uh, 80 degrees can you see over here i'm wearing a mesh a mesh protective uh shirt it's got kevlar in the impact zone it's made by beyond riders it's summertime and i just got it from them they're supporting this channel thank you guys thank you ed I'm just out of the post office matter of fact i was surprised that it's still that it's open memorial uh, weekend uh my windshield up till now uh, first of all i want you to know that just for point of reference i just changed my chin mount the way the camera is mounted on my helmet so there might be a little difference where it mounts up or down so take that into account why did i even change my windshield okay the harley the st the lowrider st from harley comes with a, a stock dark shield i think it's a around four inches gets pretty much up to here pretty cool looks good good quality but offers a uh, very little protection at highway speeds uh, I'm, I'm 510 okay 59 510 and at any speed over 50 you get buffeting not buffeting but you get wind in your face if that's something you like then stick uh, stick to the shield but offers no protection on your uh, you know helmet area and if you're going highway speeds higher uh, faster speeds and long distances you want to uh, reduce the amount of uh, air hitting your face and stuff like that so i went with uh, the harley tall tall windshield which is a 10 inch clear it's almost completely clear i'll show uh, pictures over here and i gotta tell you that windshield served me almost a year it was great it was great even the fact that sometimes uh when i was looking through it only on, at uh I'd say 10 yards ahead, I can see easily and no distortion whatsoever. And even the camera sometimes uh, was able to pick up visuals uh, through that windscreen. So why did I even change it if I was so happy with it? Well, you know, I always talk about uh, upgrades and items and stuff like that. I talk about functionality and I talk about aesthetics, the looks. How cool does a bike look? how appealing it is because it's part of you know it's just part of the experience it's the way the light the way the bike looks how it runs you know how people look at you come on we all know that we like it when people like our bike right so 
the tall windshield by Harley is tall uh, and somewhat <laughs> an old man's uh, windshield and I was always looking to get to get a, a shorter a shorter uh, windshield but that would give me the same protection now there are a few companies out there that uh, have their own proprietary their own uh, like a, a patent or design that the recurve the flare you know the that little lip that supposedly it's tested in wind in, uh, in wind tunnels it throws the air up uh, two more inches so I said if I can get a windshield that is eight inches like two inches shorter than the Harley one okay two inches shorter than the Harley tall one that I that I had uh, with the same wind protection of a 10 does it make sense what I'm saying like drop two inches by the height but have the same wind protection that would be perfect because for, for the occasional times that I was looking through the windshield I don't need to uh, to look through the windshield anymore and it looks better because it's not that old old man's windshield so there were a few companies out there but none of them actually had the eight that's what it equated to okay eight inches that that's what I needed because the Harley tall is a 10 inch and their short one is a four inch so there were a few other companies that came out with a six inch with a flare and then a 10 inch with a flare the six inch with a flare worked like an eight inch and it still had uh, wind coming on you uh, like a uh, blowing on your head and stuff like that at the uh, highway speeds and the 10 inch was a little bit too tall because a 10 inch windscreen is like up to here and it has that uh, recurve that flare that whatever you want to call it and it gives a certain distortion so I was just waiting and waiting and waiting forever for uh, the perfect windshield to come out for my height again it's my height it might be if you're taller you need uh, another windshield will fit you so for my height 5'9 5'10 I needed a cool looking 8 inch windshield that works like a 10 inch make sense clear view come into the picture this is the windshield I'm rocking right now the, it's uh that comes in different sizes they have uh, the short a medium a large extra large this one is the medium and that is pretty much an eight somewhat of an eight inch compared to the Harley one but because of the lip that it has in the front it throws the air up uh, two more inches so it, it, it performs like a 10 inch which is exactly the Harley uh, tall that I had before additionally this specific design they also have I don't can you see over here it's wider by an inch and a half over here can you see this this is wider the Harley gets all the way up to here only this one has another inch and a half on the sides on each side so it gives you uh, like a bigger pocket a bigger vacuum area over here uh, wind bigger wind protection so that's why I said I have to try it out and I got this uh, this windshield and boy I'm very happy with it it works like I said before just like the Harley toll that I had before that I loved that was that was great for me but this one looks cooler looks cooler it's a darker tint it comes they have different tints and uh, darker tint and oh slow down idiot so I've been uh, riding it for the last uh, two weeks and I can compare it back to back to my to my previous uh, windshield that I had on my uh, been riding it for a year and lately I went on a 750 mile road trip with uh, John Cycle Fanatics so I know it works just the same maybe even a little bit better I literally took it through all the tests of you know where the hell where the wind hits my helmet and it's pretty much over here just above my helmet which is the same as I had before clear view windshield American made and uh, family business family owned business I bought it full price I didn't I didn't get any discount I didn't I didn't get anything for free I paid for it and I'm very happy with it what do I not like about it I, I okay I don't know I don't want to say not like what are the uh, things that need improvement in my opinion 
overall I would say uh, that the improvements that are needed are the finishes uh, of a premium to make it a premium uh, windshield I don't think it's a premium windshield I think it's a very good windshield it serves my purpose it looks cool it does everything good but it's not premium now what do I mean two main main things are there I think they're uh, a small tweak that uh, the company can do to fix it because they went ahead and designed a wider a wider windshield look over here can you see the gap the gap that's uh, that they have between the windshield the windscreen and the fairing there's like a a small gap if you look at it from out like from uh, from uh, far away from the bike you probably won't see it but here from the cockpit when I'm looking it's that small detail that actually bothers me if I was uh, this company Clearview I would drop another eighth maybe a quarter inch down and it still won't touch uh, the plastic fairing and you have a better and nicer cleaner finish the second thing which is like minimal very minute is uh, the fittings and uh, the little plastic washer that they have on the on the the windscreen that connects it I'll show you right now you see I think they could have uh, I don't know bought found uh, design a uh, washer that is a bit conical or it has a lower lip it has a lower lip on the edges so it doesn't look as square and bulky uh, profile as you see right here I'm gonna show it on the screen so you can see that's an easy fix I think I'm probably gonna do it my somehow do it myself sand it down so it looks nice and flush because the way it looks right now it, it looks a little bit cheap if you know what I'm saying but of, overall it's a big improvement to what I had before and uh, I'll have a little link down by the description I have no code for you they did not approach me I don't know maybe if they see this video and they they will offer a code I'll actually put down by the description the the discount code I don't I think it was less than $200 for my specific uh, windshield they have different kinds of tints like different levels I got the the second most the darkest there's a one darker I said I didn't want to get that because if I do want to look through the windshield you know I can actually see through the windshield uh, okay and uh, so additionally um, I didn't say that before but notice that even though they have that recurve uh, that lip there's not so much distortion as I've seen in other windshields so that is a good uh, that is a good design whatever they did so that's it guys I hope this was a deep enough comparison a deep enough review for you guys and you find this helpful if you want to watch more of these kind of videos on the lowrider ST the Royal Enfield classic that I have and any other motorcycle and Harley Harley culture and stuff like that so just go ahead and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already I would appreciate if you give me a little thumbs up yeah that's about it guys my name is Sandy this channel's name is holy shift don't forget the F till the next video guys peace out